Eddie Hearn. I think he's a coward. Mm. I think he's got to face the media and ask, ask, be asked proper questions, grown-up questions, not those powder puff, pillow-fisted questions that Coog and Cassie has put to him. Yeah. They're all staged and ultimately not answered. Proper grown-up questions for people that are capable of answering, asking him yeah. those questions and then interrogating the answers. What do you think the landscape looks like for Eddie? This looks dreadful situation surrounding the um, fight that's just been stopped between Conor Ben and, and Chris Eubank. Yeah. It looks disappointing for Fury and Joshua. Do you think Eddie Hearn's got some serious, significant explaining to do in 100%. both instances? 100%. It's not, you know, he, we need some answers. Let's see if Eddie's got the courage of his convictions to come and answer mm. questions for people that can actually hold a question. And those are the words of <clears throat> the commentators of Talk Sports. Shout out to them. As they question Eddie Hearn and his involvement, they expect him to make a statement which he has not really been as transparent as possible and he was labeled a coward for not responding the way that they should. Let me counterpunch. Um, in situations like this, guys, it's best not to really say too much. But then here's the problem. When you don't say too much, coming from a person that talks all the fucking time like Eddie Hearn, it does seem strange. It does. Because now people are, are looking at your inconsistency when it comes to being so verbal about particular situations. Okay? So... A lot of fighters or a lot of promoters, managers, whatever, when they do interviews, you know, um, they tell you, uh, like like uh, Ben Shalom, you know, like, hey, don't ask me questions about this. Don't ask me questions about that. Please don't do this. Please don't do that. You know, and otherwise we're going to cut the video short or the interview short, right? Well, Eddie was supposed to be that one guy that doesn't do that. He doesn't, you know, he's not really scripted. He doesn't really... You know, you can't, he doesn't like, well, I want to talk about that. You know, you don't really hear a lot of that. You know, you might hear him say, I can't talk about that right now. It wouldn't be best to talk about that in information, but him refusing to talk about certain things, that's where it matters. So I wonder like if these cat, these guys right here, you know, maybe uh, just running Eddie up the flagpole, but understand this too, you know, it's only so many people that you can look at besides the <clears throat> direct team of Connor Ben. You know, for him taking that, you know, how much of that is the responsibility of the promoter? But then again, you ask yourself, well, when that did happen and the promoters get notified when something is hindering a particular fight. So you would be a damn fool to think that Eddie Hearn didn't find out about certain drug tests and not say nothing because we've already saw it. See, he didn't say shit to uh, Oscar Rivas' team when they had that adverse finding or whatever they found in Dillian White's blood sample, which they should have done. Because at least they know, well, okay, we don't know if he's guilty or innocent yet, but the fight is still going on without us being notified. You know, now Eddie, you know, the difference between that particular situation and this one is he informed um, everybody around that circle. You know, the Eubanks, the trainers, the coaches, that's what he did. It was going to rely on whatever governing body to make up their mind after the uh, sample. And I think what he intended to do was, you know, have the fight and then the sample will come later and hopefully it'll be clean or clear or whatever. But if it's not, the fight has already happened. The guys have been uh, paid and that's already over anyway. You know, and... um I feel that Eddie Hearn, you know, it's in a tough spot. It's in a real tough spot. But he recently, you know, has went out and said to Conor Ben, like, hey, listen, you know, you got a huge fight, you know. And what he's really trying to say is like, hey, whatever you can say, you should say. Well, hey, to counterpunch Eddie Hearn, the same to him. He needs to say something regarding this issue, especially from yesterday. So I'm looking forward to what Eddie Hearn responds to. 
after, you know, being questioned about the second drug test. And then, but here's you go, here you go. That's exactly what these reporters were talking about. Not asking the right questions, just asking questions to feed either the ego of himself, which is to promote Eddie Hearn, or the fighter in themselves with their own mustered up ego problems. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of talk sports blasting Eddie Hearn and calling him an absolute coward, of course, Please subscribe, and you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!